In this study, we're going to take a look at the Octopus Guard and the Half Octopus Guard, a somewhat unorthodox guard that opens up sweeping and standing options against your opponent with excellent applications in MMA as it keeps you safe from strikes and has been used on and by some of the best pound for pound MMA grapplers like BJ Penn, GSP, and Habib. Popularized by Eduardo Teles, the Octopus Guard requires you to get both your opponent's arms across your center line, and from there you sit up and wrap over their shoulders while pressuring down on the back of their head or hips. Once in that position, you are safe from strikes, and the act of striking in MMA will open up the opportunity to attain the position as you swim underneath them and into the Octopus Guard. Once there, it becomes a battle of head height and hips, as you look to get your head higher and your hips out from underneath the opponent, landing you in top position or back on your feet. If done successfully, one of the main positional improvements that becomes available from the octopus guard is the back take, where from close guard after swimming underneath strikes and pressuring down on the back of the opponent's head, it will keep your own head higher and enable you to post and heist your hips out from underneath them, giving you the back taking opportunity. Here you can see BJ Penn performing this technique against Matt Hughes, which allows him to escape from the bottom position and transition straight onto the back. The same transition onto the back is also available from Octopus Half Guard, where from a half guard position you take your near side arm and swim across the opponent's body to end up in Octopus Half or the back. Since in traditional half guard the near side underhook is generally well defended, this can leave the far side underhook open for this opportunity. Here we see Thiago Alves remove the near side underhook and use the octopus half guard to get back to his feet while battling against GSP's legendary top pressure. Using the octopus or half octopus to get back to the feet in MMA is one of its more effective uses as it will often initiate a scramble. On one of the rare occasions where Habib found himself on his back, he initially uses the octopus half guard to elevate and attempt a sweep before standing back up and going straight back into wrestling. And here Thiago Alves uses it again against GSP, and while the initial attempt is countered with a crossface, as GSP moves to a reverse half guard, Alves seizes the opportunity to stand back up. And perhaps learning from this, Michael Bisping also used it against GSP in their bout. As he moves to octopus half guard with his head high, he posts on his right hand to heist his hips out from underneath GSP and get back to his feet. Another sweeping option from the octopus guard is a basic hip bump sweep. We can see Brad Riddell use it here from half guard where he moves to octopus half, gains head height and starts to hip heist, but as Malaki attempts to cross face, it allows him to step around the back and complete the sweep. If you are unable to gain head height on your opponent as you attempt this technique, then you may land in a turtle or a false half guard. Eduardo Teles was of course the master from this position and has a variety of sweeps from here, including trapping the near leg and rolling away from the opponent, or by trapping the far leg and driving into the opponent, and you can also use it to look to regain the near side underhook and move into the dogfight position, or even roll into knee bars and other leg entanglements. And if you'd like to learn about more ways you can enter into the guard position by choice in MMA, then check out my comprehensive study on guard pulling in MMA, featuring Crone Gracie, Shinya Aoki, and Demian Meyer.